And right when I say I'm done with the show, what do I have? I've got Silverado dude saying, in the show, senor. And then there's Phil Harvey. Hey, go sorry for the late drop, but here's a wrestling match everyone is ready for. And then he forgot the link and then dropped the link there, all right? All right, let's take a look at what Phil Harvey has in store for us here, all right? This is a wrestling match. First of all, Phil Harvey, uh, dude, I'm not playing all this fucking video, all right? Are you fucking kidding me? I'll play a good amount of it. I'm not playing all this. This is a 23 fucking minute video. You know, people fucking donate hundreds of dollars, at least a, at least a two fucking hundred bucks for this shit. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking joking? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? San Antonio, Texas. Where the hell did you live? There's a ghost's nephew. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. And you want me to play all this shit? You're insulting my family? You're insulting my family? And you want me to play all this shit? I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh my god. Look at it. Helmet Boy wants to fucking keep it going. Helmet Boy. Dude, give me a break. That's my nephew. You guys are fucking jerks. You guys are fucking dickheads, man. And what does this fucking tight say? Kiss here? On his ass? It says kiss here or some shit? Oh, it says insert here. Oh, my. Oh, God. Oh, my God. And his opponent from San Antonio. You guys are assholes, dude. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Dude, I'm not playing all this. You guys are fucking insulting my fucking family, man. You guys are insulting my family. No, stop! Stop donating so we can watch. I don't want to watch all this shit. This is already pissing me off. You're making fun of my family. But man, fuck all of you people, man. Straight up. Fuck all of you, man. What the fuck? What the actual fuck, man? What a bunch of jerks. And dude, this is my nephew, by the way. Oh man, I don't want to watch this. I'd buy that for a dollar. Dude, all of you pricks, fuck all of you, man. All right. Did this fucking guy Phil Harvey Jack is okay? And all you. I'd buy that. Ah, oh, fuck. It. All right. I'm, you know what? Y'all want to watch this? I'm stepping away. I'm not watching this shit. This is an insult to my family. Don't you understand that? I'd buy that. Oh, uh, all right, go, go fuck off. All right, I gotta, I gotta step, I, I gotta step away. All right, I gotta step the fuck away. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. And and, and and I have to watch this shit. This is supposed to be my fucking nephew and his boyfriend. Oh my god. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh my god, dude, this is fucking a flea market fundraiser. I don't even know what the fuck you call this, man. Flea market fundraiser. They're making fun of my family, man. Oh god. They're making fun of my family. Oh god. Just, just. I'd buy that for a dollar. And look at President Jay. Everybody wants. How many people wanted this bumped? All right. Ghost of Single Wide Trailer 
fucking helmet boy, Jacep, Minecraft Steve, Jack is okay, fucking ghost single white trailer landlord again, Mongong, and Phil Harvey, and President fucking Jay. So now we gotta watch all this shit. That's great. That that's just uh, that's just great. That's just hilarious. Oh my god, dude, this is horrible. This is uh, you know what? All because of Phil Harvey. Oh my god, give me a drink. Now we got the fucking tanky, right? The fucking tanky fucking right? God damn it! And you're in here. This is actually more entertaining than a Tyson Paul fight. And Kirk Johnson with a Rumble Rand bump. All right. I, 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 gotta, I gotta step away. I, I can't watch my family member being disrespected like this. Since you won't get to Radio Graffiti, I'll put my beard above it. Well, dude, since everybody's bumping up this fucking disrespect to my family. Oh, God. All right, I got to step away. I'm sorry. I can't watch this. I can't fucking watch this shit. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to fucking... F dude, I, I, I'm fucking drinking beer pretty fast on this show. You know that? I'm drinking beer pretty fast. You know, and since... The D Live chat has been very chill tonight. Let me give them some fucking lemons out here. Let's throw some lemons in the treasure chest. Cheers to the folks in D Live. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. I, I can't do full screen. I, this is the best I can do. There you go. I run this whole show on like fucking 48 inch screens, dude. Fucking Samsung Odysseys, by the way. Here, give me a drink. So great. My nephew's boyfriend got beat by his boyfriend. Or excuse me, my nephew got beat by his boyfriend. Sorry about that. By the way, my nephew's boyfriend is... A major player in one of the big SEC teams. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What is this? Helmet Boy and... Oh, my God. Dude, Phil Harvey. You know, what, what the fuck, dude? What the actual fuck? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? He made Helmet Boy a little pudgy there. And who's this guy with the fucking top hat? The, following contest the two is retards. Jack is okay. Multiple giant expensive monitors and you still can't read shit. I read that shit, Jack is okay, you fucking prick. Oh my god, look at what they're look at this shit. What, what the hell? The retards, by the way. The retards, by the way. Once again, this is fan-made, if you're just tuning in. It is Phil Harvey created this and uh, obviously insulted my gay nephew and his boyfriend in the first match. And now incorporating characters of the show. Uh, what is that? Is that Jag the Luxray? And, and is that supposed to be Peppermint Swirl? Oh my god. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna put the Vaughn chat back. I gotta see what the Vaughn chat's saying. I'm sorry. Hey Rumble, I'll be back with you in a minute. 
I gotta see what the Vaughn chat is saying here. Yeah, Vaughn chat still being retarded. If they still, if they stay retarded, then we're gonna we're, we're gonna go back to Rumble. All right, we're gonna go back to Rumble. Here, give me a drink. Ah. Well, they got belts. Where the fuck did they get belts from? Who's the champs here? Dude, this dude looks like Riff Raff. That's a very eerily similarity to Helmet Boy. All right, we got. Oh my God, look at this. Peppermint Swirl doing a goddamn uh, Kimura. And then doing a flip slam on Helmet Boy. Gets the two count. Helmet Boy looks a little disoriented. Peppermint Swirl getting him by the head. Gives him a right, right to the choppers. Helmet Boy looks a little uh, out of shape, to say the least. And right when I say that, into the corner turnbuckle. Helmet Boy face first into the turnbuckle. And Helmet Boy looks like he's been training some. I hear he's been training with the late uh, Mr. Fuji. He's been seancing him from a Ouija board. Off the second turnbuckle, fist first into the face. And he's tagging the partner here. Uh, this is retard number two, LB Capitalist. Now LB Capitalist is uh, going to try to continue the work that Helmet Boy has done. That's a fucking face full of foot there. And it looks like we got a reversal from Peppermint Swirl into the corner turnbuckle. Headlock. Oh, man. Looks like a neck drag to the turn or to the mat. And wait a minute. Whoa, in a turn of events, Peppermint Swirl has been betrayed by his partner's tag team partner, Jag the Luxray, and he's going back to the locker room, and here's his partner getting, he's getting his ass kicked. He's getting his ass kicked. Oh, the humanity. LB Capitalist, a vulnerable peppermint swirl. Oh, suplex. Oh, Jesus Christ, we have the ref's ass in the way for that kick. One, two, three. Oh, that's it. The betrayal. The utter betrayal by Jag the Luxray in this tag team match. And they are now the title holders. LB Capitalist and Helmet Boy. Unbelievable. The biggest betrayal in wrestling. Jag the Luxray did not only refuse to get tagged in, he walked to the locker room. All right, we're into the next match. Here, give me a drink. Oh, this is supposed to be me. Ghost politics. Yeah, look at that swagger. That's the kind of swagger that I uh, I command whenever I'm walking. Look at that swagger. Yeah, look at that. Over the fucking turnbuckle. Look at that. What a chad. Yeah! Yeah! All right, we're ready for anything. What do we got? I had to take my my cowboy hat off. And his opponent, Phil Harvey. From the internet, weighing in at 185 pounds. 80, 185 pounds? I would smash you. I would smash Phil Harvey.
He's doing the D-Generation X suck it movement there. For all those that uh, are nostalgic about wrestling in the late 90s. Give me a drink. Phil Harvey coming out to the uh, homosexual workout music album, obviously. Very tight tights for Phil Harvey. So tight we can see his taint. All right, here comes the match. Phil Harvey versus Ghost Politics. And this is for the World Wrestling Heavyweight title. So here we go. The crowd is anxiously awaiting. There is the ref showing off the gold. And everybody is on their feet waiting in anticipation for this match. Of course, Ghost Politics, one of the most dangerous hardcore wrestlers in the game today. All right, here we go. They're locking up, and look at Ghost Politics throwing down Phil Harvey like a ragdoll. Knee to the head. Classic Ghost Politics street fighting style. And of course, because of the superior size, Phil Harvey is being thrown around like a ragdoll. Oh! Suplex off the fucking top turnbuckle! Holy shit! And Schofield Rex give him a wheelchair. Look at Ghost Politics. Typical bar brawling style of Ghost Politics. As you can see, per brute strength. And he's going outside. Oh, he's going under the ring! It's a table! He's throwing a table into the ring! And Phil Harvey is trying to weasel out. And he's going to the bottom of the ring! And he's gonna... Oh, no! He's got a pipe! He hit Ghost once! Ghost takes it away! And now he's teeing off! He's teeing off on Phil Harvey! And this is better than the Paul versus Tyson match. Jake Paul won. All right, now they're locking up on the outside. Oh, a reversal! Ghost Politics is now inside the ring. Phil Harvey circling the square circle. Now finally decided to go in the ring. Locking up. Phil Harvey being thrown around by Ghost Politics' superior size. Phil Harvey on the top rope. Oh, shit! He does a kick to the head. Another kick. Another punch. Now they're locking up again. Phil Harvey definitely does have the spin kicks. Oh, a knee to the face. A knee to the face. Ghost Politics looks like he's having a little bit of trouble with the kicks. Looks like uh, Phil Harvey has got some kind of a back arm lock. He's getting the other arm. And he's got some kind of a... Oh, knee to the back. All right. And he continues to work that back. And the kicks have been very effective for old Phil Harvey here. Here he goes again with another arm back lock. Here he goes again. Stretching out those pecs. Another knee to the back. Ghost Politics looks like he's in some trouble here. He's got to get a second win. He's got to get a second win. Phil Harvey. Oh, snap suplex. And, and, and Phil Harvey continues to be relentless when it comes to the kicks and punches. And we've got Phil Harvey continuing jabs. He's in the corner. Phil Harvey picks him up, body slams him, and he's going for the pin. One, two, oh, Ghost Politics throws him off like a rag doll. Ghost Politics still is alive. He's being run by piss and fury, and we've got Phil Harvey with a trash can. Ghost Politics is still trying to recover. And here you got Phil Harvey doing suck it. Oh my God, crotch to the face. Off the last turnbuckle. Looks like Phil Harvey is setting up that table. He hits him with the table. He looks like he's setting up the table. Oh my God, Ghost Politics has got a second win. He's got a second win. Ghost Politics over the shoulder. Neck to the turnbuckle, neck to the rope. 
Oh, ghost politics missed. That's going to hurt right in the bread basket. Phil Harvey off the second turnbuckle. Let's see what Phil Harvey's going to do here. Ghost politics doesn't look like he has. Skip the line, my dono's relevant. What's dono, Haywood? Ghost politics is now once again in command of this particular match. Ghost politics. Oh, my God. What do you call that? One, two, oh! How did Phil Harvey muster up the fucking courage to continue on? Ghost Politics has had enough. He's going underneath the goddamn ring. He's got a kendo stick. One shot with the kendo stick, two shots. Look at Ghost Politics. He loves this violence. He just broke the kendo stick over the back of Phil Harvey. Ghost Politics, knee to the canvas. Oh, wait a minute. Phil Harvey with a second win. Uh-oh. Threw him over the turnbuckle. And once again, Phil Harvey with the punches and kicks has been a very effective in this match. What is Phil Harvey going to do? What is he going to do? He's thinking about it. He sees Ghost Politics on the floor. Is he waiting for him? To Phil Harvey, don't let him get his win, Phil Harvey. Here he goes. He went outside. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Ghost Politics second win throws Phil Harvey into the steel chairs, or steel stairs, excuse me. I'm sorry, the intensity of this match, folks. It's got me a little flustered. Ghost Politics misses, gets him with a clothesline on the outside. And this is right up Ghost Politics' alley. Bar brawling style, oh my God. Phil Harvey throws it back into the ring. Throws him into the turnbuckle. And what is Phil Harvey? Oh! Elbow by Ghost Politics! Oh my god! What a move! What a move! One, two, three! Oh my god! Ghost Politics with one of the most unbelievable moves that I have seen in wrestling today! Oh my god! Beats Phil Harvey! to win the heavyweight world title and look at Ghost Politics basking in his success like the capitalist that he is. Oh my God, what a great wrestling match. And once again, cheers to Phil Harvey. I'm sorry about that. That was a very exciting match if I don't say so myself. All right, very good match. And hold on, there's a bonus clip. Hold on, where's the bonus clip? Hold on, there's a bonus clip. Put the PC shot on. Where's the bonus clip? Do I play it to the end? Take it, Ghost. Take it. Take it. Uh, uh, uh. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I was actually into that fucking shit until you had to do that shit. Until you had to do that shit. Look at all these fucking beers for crap. I could have been a great play-by-play -play guy, by the way. All right? Look at that. I mean, most play-by-play -play guys, they have to have, like, you know, they get notes. And they study. You know, that's why play-by-play -play guys are very good. They're like, hey, you know, I, I could have been a play-by-play -play guy, dude. Not fucking joking around. <laughs> Not joking around. For a 